students at Palm Beach Atlantic University are experiencing a slightly different semester than they are used to. While being able to attend classes in person, they still have to maintain social distance orders and wear facial coverings at all times. The university has officially announced that this year, spring break will only be two days. Whether it's taking a road trip, going to the beach, browsing the shops, or catching a movie with friends, spring break is something many college students look forward to. However, due to COVID-19, PBA has all but halted these plans, impacting many students personally. One of those students is sophomore Tara Zakis, who had plans to lead a mission trip abroad this semester, but sadly, the trip had to be canceled. I was actually really disappointed because I was supposed to lead a missions trip on spring break, to Bahamas and it was canceled because we don't have a spring break. PBA lacrosse player Alex Aiken found out that he won't be able to travel with his team for games this year. But despite this, he looks forward to what he can do here in West Palm Beach in the time being. So usually I'm with my teammates and we'll go up north. So whether it's Tennessee, North Carolina, somewhere in that region, go somewhere that's a little bit cooler. Not going to be able to do that this year, but I think that'll make it interesting to be able to stay around here, maybe go to the beach. Um, so it'll be a change of pace for us. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get out of the hot weather, but I think we'll be able to enjoy being in this area more. For some students, they weren't aware of PBA's change and were just hearing about it for the first time, despite the university sending out an email mentioning their alternate plans. <laughs> I didn't know about that. That, I mean, that's a little bit of a hit. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet. This news comes hardest for those who are from out of state and had planned to go home to visit family, such as freshman Mitchell Gray. I was thinking I was going to go back. I am from Pennsylvania, so I think I was going to go back home. And uh, it's definitely pretty, definitely pretty like uh, disappointing and uh, shocking for sure. Despite the lack of a full spring break, most students can agree with and appreciate the fact that they are able to be on campus and attend classes in person. It's definitely been a lot different. It's definitely not what I uh, anticipated uh, in a sense, but you know, I, uh, I, I think we're all trying to make the best out of it for sure. A lot of campuses, like they're still stuck at home and they can't go on campus. So like, I'm happy I can go to classes and I can be here and like live in the dorms. I'm Morgan Therian reporting for The Beacon.